My name is Patrick Devlin. I'm the proprietor at Carab's Italian Grill. Today, uh, we are making a dish called Linguini Positano. It is a super simple uh, dish, and a lot of home chefs can really take this one, one on. To start, you need a 28-ounce can of peeled tomatoes. I like the San Marzano ones for the flavor. Four large cloves of garlic. Half a cup of extra virgin olive oil some fresh basil, salt and pepper. You also need a pot of boiling water, knife and cutting board, small skillet to cook your garlic in, and a bowl to mix your sauce. The first thing uh, we wanna do is we wanna make our sauce. And to do that, we're gonna start off with uh, chop and slicing the garlic. So I've got my four cloves of garlic right here. I'm just gonna lay them down on the cutting board. And I just wanna slice those super thin. You just put the flat part of the, the garlic clove on the cutting board and then just start slicing. Knife right, up, right against your knuckles and slice super thin. Don't worry about it if, uh, if you don't get it too perfect. We're gonna be cooking it uh, nice and slow on low heat so the garlic gets nice and soft anyway. So once I get all the sliced, I'm gonna put the garlic in my skillet and I'm gonna cook it for 10, 15 minutes until the garlic is nice and soft. I've already got a little bit of garlic here that I've, that I've cooked before. And uh, we're just gonna let that cool for a little bit while, uh, while we work with the rest of the ingredients. So next up, we're gonna work with our, uh, our basil. So basil leaves, you wanna make sure you get all the leaves off the stems. And I'm just gonna lay that down on the cutting board. The stems are really bitter. So I'm just gonna lay those down on the cutting board. And I just wanna run my knife through those a couple of times just to get them to a rough chop. You want each piece to be about the size of a nickel. something like that. So I've got my basil and my garlic done. Last thing we're gonna work on is, uh, is our tomatoes ready. So you're gonna get your tomatoes in a bowl, save some of the juice in there, that adds some flavor to the sauce as well. And just really get your hand in there and you can just use your hand to squeeze those tomatoes and just crush them up so they're uh, kind of chunky <clears throat> and making a nice sauce. After we get that all together, we can take all of our ingredients, our basil, Mix that right in with the sauce, our garlic and olive oil, and we want to season that with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then just take a spoon, mix all that together, mix it really well. So we want to let this sit for a couple hours so that we can meld the flavors together. And I've got some that I made earlier today over here. So when you're ready to eat, you wanna get your pot of boiling water ready to go. Uh, before we add our pasta, we wanna add some salt to the water. Now salt, what the salt can, is gonna do is gonna raise the temperature of the water so that the pasta cooks a little more evenly and imparts more flavor. It's also, uh, adds a lot of flavor to the, to the pasta. For dry pasta, just follow the cook time on the uh, directions for the cook time in the box for al dente, and you can cook it a little longer if you like. I'm using some fresh linguine today that I got at the grocery store. And the thing to remember about fresh pasta is that it's only gonna take a minute or two to cook. Pasta goes in the water, and just let that cook for a little bit. I've got a bowl, you're gonna have a sink at home that you can uh, dump your water into. I've got a bowl here to, to save the rest of my ingredients. Once you get that pasta nice and hot, just gonna take, strain out your water. And you wanna drain your pasta really well. We're gonna get that pasta right back into the pot, along with our sauce. And just cook that on low, medium low heat 
for another minute or two, just make sure that everything's nice and hot. When it's ready to go, divide up into four bowls and get ready to eat. Uh, you can also grill chicken or grill chip, uh, grilled shrimp to the dish, add a little more variety and uh, a little more variation to it. So try this recipe at home. And if you enjoyed, come visit us at Carabas Italian Grill on Bald Hill Road, located in the same plaza as Barnes & Noble and DSW Shoes. We offer, uh, currently offer takeout and delivery. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at Carabas Warwick, for specials, updates, and offers. And thank you for watching. Thank you so much.